Welcome to Virtual STEM Club Solar Ovens. I'm Sandy, and today we're going to have some fun with a small pizza box and some foil and make some s'mores in our solar oven. You should have already picked up your take and make bag and your box to make your solar oven, and that will have everything you need in it to make a special s'more treat in the solar oven. Let's get started. In your take and make bag, there's going to be several different things we'll need for the project. The first thing you'll have is your pizza box, which we'll have to put together. Foil, which you will either have sheets of foil, the bigger sheets, or you'll have some smaller sheets, and they'll both work the same, and we'll talk about those in a minute. Marshmallows, straws, a Hershey bar, a package of graham crackers, you will have some tape on the back of your take, take and make bag and that's going to help us secure the foil and the clear plastic wrap to your box to make your oven work and that's what we have let's get started all right the first part of our project involves putting the pizza box together and that's probably honestly the hardest part of the project so you'll take your box and you'll see there is a hole in one end of it. And that's where we're gonna start with folding. We're gonna take and kind of bend these pieces a little bit. And then this side up and this side up. So the shorter end with the hole in it, we'll take and we'll bend that. And then we'll, first, we'll take these, and these little flaps will fold inside, and then we'll lift this up, we'll fold it over, and I don't know if you can see on camera, but it kind of connects right down here in this. Or it should. If it doesn't, if you have a hard time with it staying there like it should, you can take some of the blue tape that's on the back of your take and make bag and just tack it down so it stays in place. And might take a couple pieces and just you know put it in there. And there, it'll stay in place. Then take your other end, and you're going to have tabs on this side as well. And you just take those and fold them to the inside of your pizza box. Fold this piece up. Fold this over. Take these ends. Fold them in, pull the back up, and there we have the base for our solar oven. And again, you just kind of fold these things. There's going to be lines that you can see on the boxes that'll help you know where to fold things. So just once you get to this point, we're ready to start the next step. And the next step will be taking your foil and lining your oven. Now, your take and make bags will have either full sheets of foil like this, or you may have some smaller strips of foil like this. And either foil is going to work for your project, so just know that it's not going to affect the outcome of your project. So 
And I'm going to show you what to do with each one of your pieces of foil. So if you have the longer strip of foil, just take it like this, kind of form it to your box, fold it over the side, and you can also take some of your tape from your the back of your take and make bag. And I would recommend that you do use a couple of pieces to hold it on because if you take it outside and it's a little bit windy, the wind might catch your foil and blow it off your box and make your experiment a little bit harder to do. So just use a couple small pieces of your tape and stick it on the outside like this to hold your foil in place. And if you feel like you need a piece on the inside, feel free to do that as well. If you have the smaller pieces of foil, it's the same basic thing. Just take them, put them on the inside, and tape them down. Once you have your foil secured, we're ready for the next step. And for this next step, you're also going to need some tape. And what we want to do to make our solar oven ready for the, uh, to make our s'mores is we need to take the foil and we need to be able to angle it so it catches the sun and reflects the sun back down onto our s'more or our graham crackers and chocolate, which will make our s'mores. So we're gonna figure out what angle we want the box at. If you want it like this, you can do that. If you think you want it down here a little bit, um, you might play with the angles on how the sun is hitting your project. And you can tape the box like this if you like. If you think you need a straw to help your box stay open, you can take the straw that's in your box and you can tape it. And let me just get some more tape. So if we want to use a straw, we will take our straw tape it to the box, either on the inside or the outside, it's not going to matter, and then take your lid and tape it at whatever angle you think you want. your box is angled, the next thing we're going to do is put the plastic wrap that's included in your take and make bag at least one sheet across here. And the reason that we're putting the plastic wrap on is this is going to help keep the heat in the bottom part of the box to melt your chocolate and make your marshmallow softer. So sometimes the plastic wrap sticks pretty good, but you'll just smooth it out. And then you can 
take it. Start with the back if you like. Stretch it over the box. And then you can secure it onto the sides with some more of the tape. It doesn't take much tape, just a little bit to keep it. And again, you may have some wind when you're outside doing your experiment, so you want to make sure that your saran wrap doesn't blow away your plastic wrap. So just tape it down to the side of the box. And then what I would do next is I would take your graham crackers and get them ready. So just open the end of your graham cracker package. It may take a little bit of time. So then just break it in half. Stick it under there. And you can make two at a time if you like. And you could make more. There's room for more, but you have the supplies to make two s'mores. So then open your chocolate bar. Break that in half. Put the chocolate on the graham cracker. Take your marshmallow package, open the package. And you may have to get scissors, and that's okay. And you may need adult help, and that's okay too. And once you get it open, you can take and put a marshmallow on here. You can also um, try maybe tearing the marshmallow in half to see how it works. Um, see if it melts any faster, gets any softer, if you tear the marshmallow in half. And then, once you've done that, make sure your saran wrap's good and tight. Add your second piece of saran wrap, plastic wrap, across your box. Tape it down. So it's secure, so it's going to keep the heat in. It's, it's okay if it's not taped down here, but it'll stick, to, it'll stick to the other piece. And then you will take it outside. You're going to want to do this experiment on a sunny day and probably a day that has lots of sun. And Try to figure out what part of the day is going to be the warmest because the warmer the day and the more sun you have, it's going to make your marshmallows more melty and it'll definitely make your chocolate more melty. You'll take it outside and you'll notice that the chocolate's probably going to get softer faster than the marshmallows will. And you'll just have to experiment with the sun and the heat to see how fast that happens. When I experimented at home, my chocolate started getting soft within five minutes, but it took almost an hour for the marshmallows to start getting softer. So you'll have to experiment and see how fast that's going to happen to you. Once you get that all melted and your marshmallow is as warm and melty as you want it. You can take off the plastic wrap, bring it inside, break another graham cracker in half, smush them up just like you do regular s'mores and enjoy. Have fun!
Thanks for joining us for the Virtual STEM Club Solar Oven Project. I hope you had a lot of fun and your s'mores were really gooey. If you have any video or pictures that you'd like to share with us, please do so on the email address that's coming across the screen. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.